It's Jamie and what's your name again, sir? Zeb. Zeb. <laughs> Z-E-B with a Z. <laughs> we get a lot of Jamie and Jeb. We jest. He answers to anything. I call him George a lot. Yes, that happens. He doesn't like it, but it happens. Um, we are going to be painting this dresser to date live. We are using a DIY paint in White Swan, Cowgirl Coral, Apothecary, Apothecary, I can't even talk, and Old 57. And we're going to be painting with this. Deb, you want to tell them about that? I am going to be using this cardboard to build up layer and texture and blend all of the colors. And Jamie's going to help. She'll help along the way. But she's got a bunch of stuff she wants I to talk to you about. I have a list. We got to check off the list. All kinds of fun things happening. Um, comment below whether you think painting with cardboard is a good idea. If you were in Nashville, um, actually at Fairview, Tennessee, at Farm Fresh Vintage Finds last Saturday, you might have seen us paint this technique live for the first time ever. We did a little live painting demo. We thought, why not paint with cardboard and never try it before? And just do it live in front of live human beings, not even on a camera. And it turned out. It worked out so well. We're so going good. to show you how we did it because it was really fun. It got a really fun texture and the blending was great too. And this is only our second time ever doing this. I'm an old pro at it, you know. Disclaimer. <laughs> you can't mess it up. Like do it once, done. You're, there's no wrong way to do it. Um, there might be a wrong way. I don't think there is. We're going to find out. All right. So. To get started, I'm going to get started here and start painting it. And then Jamie's going to tell you all the things and tell you about her eyes because everybody's wanting to know. I have no glasses in case you can tell. And yes, I can see you. I have 2015 vision, but I don't think I could read the comments that far away because that's on the phone. So Zeb, where's your phone? I have it here. I'm keeping it from you because you get distracted easily. I get distracted. I'll give it to you when I'm ready. All right, so cardboard, okay? Just uh, This is fairly thick, probably about a quarter inch piece of cardboard. It doesn't have to be. So what I'm doing is I'm just ripping the edge off here, okay? Just like so. I want it to be jagged. You don't want it to be like a clean cut, crisp edge. You want it to be kind of jagged. All right, now I'm gonna rip it this way here so that I can get it down into my can. We used first in, first out bottles when we did this at boot camp, but I did not have time to clean ours and ours have other paints loaded in them. So I was like, eh, we'll just make it narrow enough. All right, so little piece of cardboard, jagged edge, both sides, we're gonna go with it. In case you're wondering, this dresser was already painted when we bought it with latex paint. So we gave it a good sand because latex is not the best thing in the world. Um, but we didn't sand all the way through. Obviously, we just sanded the drips off and gave us something so that way our paint can adhere. Oh, I need something to open this with. Jack is home today because his preschool teacher is in Florida. So if you happen to see a random Jack running, that's what happens. Or hear him. He's yeah, loud. if you hear him, he's loud. Um, my niece, Caitlin, who is actually now our customer care manager, is here. She's live. She's going to be on here. If you have questions, she might be able to help you. She's also going to be moderating in case we get any wackadoodles. And she's also moderating our son, Jack. So in case you don't know, DIY paint is all natural, clay-based, heavily pigmented paint. And you can pick it up at jamierayvintage.com. We also have other paint lines and DIY products on our website, so it's a great one-stop shop for that. And I'm wearing my newest design shirt. It's an I Love Junk shirt, and the back says, I'd rather, can you guys see that? It's probably backwards. It says, I'd rather be junky. You're blocking what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm blocking Seb. But look, they can see you right there, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I wore it yesterday for my photo, and it's really fun, and I thought I'd throw it on today. It's just a little bit stinky, like... Not too bad because I didn't wear it the whole day. So I figured I could wear it. This is a second day shirt. You can do that, right? Yep. A second day hair. And in case you're wondering, with my vision, um, some of you may or may not know I had LASIK surgery on Monday. Um, I could see right away. It was a little fuzzy the first day. Yesterday I went in for my follow-up appointment and I have 2015 vision now. I'm actually not sure what my vision was before, but it was bad. It was like, <laughs> it was like 2300. Suffice it to say, my vision was pretty bad. Um, this morning I woke up able to see again. I was still a little bit of halos around lights, but I don't have the dryness, but you may see me stop and put drops in because I'm supposed to do it every hour and it's been a minute. 
because I was like just live on Facebook. Deb's gonna get you in close here. Yep, so you can kind of see it's not going on super smooth. I've got lines, textures, it's got some high spots, some low spots. That's what you want. If well, you... <laughs> and if this was raw wood and not already painted latex, you would not have all these streakies. But because it's already been painted with latex, it gives you a little bit of a different finish. If you're painting raw wood, I really feel like that's your best option for a smoother finish. I think, I told Zeb this might be tricky, but he told me he could do it, so. I'm going. All right, so before this dries, I don't want it to get too dry on me. I've got some old 57 in here. This is DIY paint as well. Zeb's going for it. And I'm just going to drip just a touch, just a smidge, <laughs> okay? Just a little bit. All right, and I'm just gonna put this in a couple spots here and there, and I can't do very random, so it'll probably end up looking <laughs> like a pattern of some sort. That looks some kind of special. The, right. These colors might not be the best to go to. Jamie let me pick the colors, and I'm like, what's open in the cupboard? We'll use that. <laughs> it's kind of streaky. I would just let that dry a little bit, Zeb. Well, I'm gonna come back over. That's why I have the white to blend in even more and the cowgirl coral. This is gonna be interesting. It may all get sprayed white later again, so who knows? But we're going with it. <laughs> we're live. There's you guys, no editing this out. You guys get the you guys get the picture. Where's the brush? I need to get in here. So that is why we keep a brush on hand. The cardboard will not get in all of the creases super well. So like this little detail here and there and along this edge, we're probably going to have to brush it. All right. All right. Now to my notes. <laughs> we have two more live appearances coming up. We just were in Nashville in October on the 24th in what? Batch out. You're blocking me. Sorry. They in, can hear you fine. In California, <laughs> we're going to be at the store that's in Fallbrook where we sell our paint on the 24th from 6 to 9. What's this we're going to have called? a it's called uh, Vintage Retail Therapy and we are doing a live class with Zeb and I teaching paint blending. It's $95. One lucky winner will get to take home the piece that we're working on. Everybody in attendance gets 20% off a DIY paint and a paintbrush. So it's one of our last of two live appearances for the year. So if you're in California, we would love to see you in Fallbrook. So that is coming up October 24th. The cost, the cost is $95. Caitlin, if you're on, if you could drop the phone number for Vintage Retail Therapy in comments, that would be good. That way, you guys, if you want to go ahead and book that class, you can. I haven't made the official announcement, so my YouTube followers get it first, and then I'm going to start promoting it on my other social media. So there's that. And then on the 27th, if you're one of my Utah peeps, we're going to be at the DIY Life Expo and I'm not sure exactly on the time, but we will be teaching. We're going to be doing some flips from KSL Classified, showing you before and afters. And that is that class is free with admission. So if you come to the DIY Life Expo on Saturday, you can see us. They haven't announced the exact class time yet, but I do know it will not be from 1230 to 4, because that is when they have the football championship game scheduled for my boy, Rudrick which we're, we're anticipating that they will make it to the championship. We'll see. They're undefeated so far, and they've beat all the teams that are going to be playing. So unless someone pulls out something magical, we'll be there. So there you go. If you need more information on that, feel free to PM me. I'm going to have Caitlin drop the link for the expo. Somebody says time for a brush. It is not time for a brush yet. Just Slow watch. Watch Slow. till the end. Why the cardboard? The cardboard gives you, like, random texture. So I'm getting like real, I ripped it jagged. If you missed the first, watch the replay. I'll show you how I did it. Just little faith, little faith. It turned out really cool when we did this. There, I painted that right the there. The whole I idea you. is not a neat paint job. If you want a neat paint job, I've got about a hundred videos on spraying perfect paint jobs. Right. This is for the blending. And my cardboard's getting a little mushy, so you can see that it's going on a little smoother here and there. All right, I'm gonna come back in with some more old 57 and just hit a couple spots while she's doing that. I just want it to be like a little highlight almost. The cool thing is if you do this on wood furniture, 
You can actually distress with the cardboard and bring the wood back, but we're not doing it on plain wood. It's already been painted, so it's a little bit different. We'll do an actual edited video on this too. Yeah, we'll probably do like a full-blown video with better colors that are that blend well. These are fine. These colors are good together. All right. Mm, don't you worry. Cowgirl coral going in. It's a lot like painting with a spatula, but it blends a little better with the cardboard because the cardboard isn't quite as rigid. Oh, you're going with a lot of cowgirl coral. Well, if you're going to do this, we're going to do this, right? Like, all right, all right. Go big or right. go home. Okay, so I'm not going to be, this has a little crease in here. I'm not going to be able to get the cardboard in there. Where'd you go with the what brush? What the heck? I don't know. I'm flipping stuff. It's, there's a brush right there. Just use the dust. <clears throat> oh, here's this one. I wanted that one. So we're using a paint pixie brush to get into the cracks. So you do still want to have <clears throat> a brush on hand unless spots like this don't bother you, but I would recommend it. This is so good. This is so, it looks like ice cream. I know it's kind of beachy. Uh, totally what we're going for here. So the fun thing about this is that we're getting like a really fun texture on here that is more like this has been, instead of just like blending paint, it looks up like in real life here, it looks like this has been painted 10 times by 10 different people over That's the years. Dirty. Which is what we're going for. That's what we want. Well, that's what we got. We was, you know, just put it on there. When we were doing this live in Tennessee, people are like, what the heck are you doing? But once they started, once it dries, you can build up the layers because of the clay base and the paint. And then they really kind of got what we were doing. Okay, you're muddying up the water here. We've got the bottom. All right, I'm going with more apothecary. It's so fun! <laughs> All right, I'm going to move you back so that you can see more of the piece here. So one of the things we talked about while we were painting this at the boot camp was, you know, like when you're a little kid and you just do stuff because you can and no one told you you couldn't. Sometimes I feel like we lose a lot of our artistic abilities because we, we try to paint inside those lines and paint inside the box. Sometimes you've got to do something you've never tried before and you don't know how it's going to turn out. And maybe this technique isn't for everybody, but... Find something that's your style that you love to do and just run with it and don't let anyone tell you you can't do it like that. Well, the cool thing is it's white underneath, so I can go ahead and just dress this back and pull through a lot of that lighter color. You're going too much coral. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're trying to make it random. I can't do random. Here, you want to look at comments? <laughs> I'm totally random. <laughs> All right. Oops, I totally turned that off. You're going to have to put your coat in. What? How did that even happen? <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting new cardboard here. Woo -woo. New cardboard. All right. There's there's comments again. Well, I don't know. I don't see comments on there. You guys just wait. It's going to be so epic. Can I have that apothecary? Yeah. <clears throat> what the heck? What do you mean? I can't get this in here. Yeah, you put you ripped your board too wide, uh, your cardboard oopsie. too wide. Oopsie daisy. Like the ideal situation would be to be using a paper plate, which we don't have, and then just dip on the paper plate. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Nashville date is past. We were there last week because somebody asked for that location. That's past. The two upcoming dates we have are for Fallbrook, California, and Salt Lake, Utah, which actually it's gonna be in Sandy, but in the Salt Lake area. And the fall birth date is the 24th at Vintage Retail Therapy. And then the 20, not, 27th, sorry, we will be in Sandy at the Expo Center on that Saturday. And we're going to be teaching. And one class is going to be all about furniture flipping and before and afters and techniques to buying online. That's going to be the Salt Lake class. And the class in Fallbrook is going to be limited to 20 seats. And it'll be a three-hour class with Zeb and I painting live, talking about the paints, 101 paint blending. And while the paint's drying, I can't promise you that there's not going to be some information about growing your business. Okay, I can't promise you. We'll definitely be talking about growing our business and our brand, as well as answering questions. With only 20 people, it really allows us to get a little bit more personal, something that makes it hard on live videos. This is interesting, Zeb. It's Give me that. Can I borrow that Dusty for a second? Just like... Just I'll, a little bit. I'll allow it. You'll allow it? Okay. Yeah. I think if this was natural wood, it'd be a different situation. I'm just gonna 
I'm doing this so soft, you guys, because really we do want the texture from the cardboard because it's kind of fun and random, but it's, it's getting a little interesting. So we're just <laughs> gonna help it out here. Well, and you can always take a sander to it later and get some of that texture off. Yeah, you can hand sand it or you can... A little 220 grit, never hurt anybody. That's right. There we go, that's a little better. What do you guys think? Do you think this is helping? This Dusty is on back order right now, but I have, they should be coming in, I think next week. We have them, you can order them on our website, but if you order it, it might take a little bit to get to you because they're super popular. I actually like that, that's good. Let's, we'll let that dry. Let's keep layering this and then we'll come back and I, chunk on some white. Yeah, we needed to let it dry a little. It was blending more than I wanted it to. Jennifer Elsenhauer says, Jamie didn't last long watching. She got all the stuff out. She, she gave all of her info that she was I told getting. you guys everything I had to tell you. Oh, also, I do want to talk to you. I'll let you paint some more. I'll, I'll stop jumping in. Um, we, are, we have some fun brand collaborations coming up, um, and we just want to know your input on that. We've not done a ton in the past, but a lot of companies that we like, we're going to be working with, and then they're doing giveaways or discounts. So comment below. Do you like giveaways? Because we love sharing with you guys. We had that fun stencil giveaway. We got those mailed out. In fact, I actually think three people didn't contact us. So this Saturday, we'll announce those names again. If they don't contact us, then we'll, we'll send stencils to some other people. But the robot vacuum, I'm really excited about because that's like a $300 vacuum that we're going to be able to give away. Yep. So on Saturday, when we do our thrift store haul, you are definitely going to want to tune in. It's 8.30 Utah time, and all you have to do is comment to be entered in the giveaway. I'm waiting to find out if we can do it internationally or if it's just a domestic giveaway. So that's going to be exciting. Um, everybody says, yes, they love giveaways. <laughs> well, who doesn't love getting something for free? Oh, here's another thing. We're the reason why we're doing cardboard is because there's more than one way to paint something. When you're done with a piece, there's also more than one way to sand it. We have a video on this, but if you just want to sand it lightly without knocking down too much of the texture, you can literally take a brown paper bag, rip it up, and sand it. It'll knock it down, smooth it out, and it's, a scent it's similar to 400 grit sandpaper. And but that's looking good. I like it. It's similar to 400 grit sandpaper. So don't think that you can't think outside the box with your tools. All right, I think we need some more cowgirl coral over there. Well, I just barely got the apothecary. I, I hid it from you, it's over here. You hid it? I, well, I didn't really, I didn't know I was hiding it. I just, <laughs> I, it was hidden, so. So my cardboard is starting to get a little mushy. I've lost that jagged edge. So I still have no mushiness here. If I really need to build more texture, I can always drag that along. And you can kind of see where that gave some texture there or you know put it right back over these colors are a direct result of zeb um picking them because i don't know if you guys follow me on facebook but if you do i was doing a facebook live in the shop like 10 minutes before i was live here so he got to pick out colors but i actually like these together i like the blue and the coral because the apothecary is a nice base but the blue and coral just add like that pop of brightness so it's kind of farmhouse kind of beachy Kind of bohemian. Basically, it has a little bit of an identity crisis, which I think a lot of people can relate to in design, for sure. <laughs> All right. Um, do, do, do. Zeb's lost his edge. Jeb, Jeb's lost his edge. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to let that dry. You want to flip the camera up to the top? We'll paint the top. Yeah, we'll paint the top up. I want to blend this just a little bit, so I'm just going to come oh, through you're with gonna water. Muddy it up. It you're going to I'm not hosing it down. You're going to muddy my texture up. I'm just gonna blend it a little bit. There we go. All right, can you guys see good? Most mostly good. All right. I'm gonna move the white. Autocorrect white. does not like my name. It's like no way that guy's name isn't really Zeb. The good news is since Jack's not at preschool, we don't have to rush off. We can actually finish painting the dresser. All right, I'm gonna. But that's you know getting... what I just realized? I'm not in paint pants. Well. I think they're paint pants now. Back away back away just let you do it no i didn't say that just I, I don't think, get paint on your pants i think that's what you were telling me you were like hey just, just let me do it here <laughs> so the reason the cardboard works really well to get the texture you can kind of see how i've got thick spots thin spots when that dries that's going to have like a little bit of a layer to it 
and then it catches the other colors too and just kind of holds them there and it makes a really fun effect. Have you guys ever tried painting with a partner like this? <laughs> Comment if you have, because I feel like <laughs> sometimes it's good and sometimes it's a little scary, but I feel like it always turns out in the end because- Well, I paint know. so much differently than you do. Well, it just adds randomness that you wouldn't normally get. Yeah. So, and I'm, I'm pretty random with everything in my life. Do to do. This side is going to be the coral side. This is going to be one of those videos where people either love it or they're like, thumbs down. The good news <laughs> is the dress was $40 and it wasn't a priceless antique and it was already painted. So there's that. It had butterfly stickers all over it. Oh my gosh, they were so bad. And for those of you that think Zeb does all the heavy lifting, I loaded this entire dresser by myself into the truck. Woo woo, girl power. <laughs> Although once we got home, I'm like, dude, I moved that once. It's all you. <laughs> that looks kind of good. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. And then there's that. There you go. Blend that. Blend that back. Blend it good. Doo -doo -doo. I got to get some of my apothecary back. You know me, I've always got to throw white in there. And then, you know, I get asked a lot, like, why are you adding white? And the reason is because if you don't have some sort of neutral sometimes, there's nowhere for the eye to, like, oh, that looks cool. Go that way. There's nowhere for the eye to stop. Well, now we've got, we definitely have texture now. Oh, I like that. Let's go do that on the front now, too. Okay, too much, stop. Step away. I can't, I was going with my non-random, make it all look the same. All right, let's, let's go down the front with some white now too. All in right, the just, direction. just like a little bit though. All right, just like a little bit? Not, you went too heavy, I think, on the top. I think, you don't, you know, are you guys ready? This is where the FIFO gets fun, back away, up. <laughs> hey, just don't get any in your eyes. Yeah. She's got like a month here where water sports are out. Yeah, my, they said no extreme water sports for three months. I was like, what? I don't do extreme water sports, so I think we're probably good. I'm just gonna, just, just a little bit. Oh, now we got like this big old goopy. Don't, don't you never mind the goopy. I'm gonna have to cut these drawers out, which if happens guys, from time to time. If you guys have ever watched me, you know, it's gonna be good. We'll make it good. Make it happen. So come the opposite the way. Every now and then, you just gotta experiment. You just have to. This looks like the same colors we did on that hutch. Thing. They're pretty close. <laughs> it hasn't sold yet. Just saying. <laughs> Just throwing that out there, the hutch has not sold. That is special. All right, I'm gonna have to come here and here. And... Yeah, get some of those big goopies out. This is what happens when we come back from boot camp. Last year, we painted everything white or solid navy colors, and then Jamie went to boot camp, and she's like, everything's going boho. So like all through October and November, Everything had like this really fun, crazy blended look last year. I feel like we might be back in the same trend. No, this is this is different. This is <laughs> this is totally wild. I actually didn't even take a painting class this time. Last Which is time, crazy. I know I didn't take a painting class. I'm just gonna add some of this blue on here to. I need a little bit of coral, but my brush is my my cardboard brush you is now. Just cut it off of a box. Looks like a paint fight. Too much white. Go back to horizontal. I want to try that. Maybe not as much white. All right. Maybe not as much white. All right. We're going to bring some color back on top right here. Hence the layered texture. <laughs> oh, my heavens. I told you you put too much white on there. Oh, shush. 
tried to warn you. Shush it. Shush it up. <laughs> we'll do another like edited video. We'll do a full this. edited one and that way it makes more hey, sense. Hey, if you want to know doing. what this looks like when it's all done and staged and butamous, make sure you're following me on Instagram and uh, Facebook because I will post it. I will post it and it'll be good. Yeah, and stories or uh, community, that's it, community. YouTube community tab on the homepage of our channel. You can see all the stuff we're up to behind the scenes and... All right, I gotta paint the, the time for Jack to finish. Time for Jack. He could probably do you this. You finished me pushing up my glass. Oh, I just got paint on me. Yeah, I actually still push them up, but they're not there. All right, I'm painting the feet. You gotta do this with a brush. You really can't do cylindrical surfaces with a piece of cardboard. Yeah, it's, it's tough. It's looking good. I'm just gonna, you know, put a little bit of a hose situation happening there. A little hose down. I think we need some more blue up there. Yeah, you got rid of it with your white, and the coral looks brown now. All right, well, there you go. <sighs> just too much experimenting. Too much. All right, maybe we should walk away for a minute. Well, it's too wet. Everything's just mushing together. We need to wait. In between right. the layer. I actually like the top a lot. Here, we can do a side. We can do a side. I think we should do a side. We should put it on its side. I think it's going to be hard to do this vertically. So I think, I think we... that you just don't need to put so much white on. All right, you do the side by yourself. I'm going to use my finger and see if I can bring back some of this. All right. When you're done bringing that back, see what people are commenting. Everybody's going to unsubscribe after this video. Don't unsubscribe. We'll spray some more things white. Promise. The little kid who took white glue to it. What? People are not loving this, you guys. It's so fun. All right. Can you guys hear me? I'm all the way over here. Zeb's going to paint. Why don't you sit I'm here? They can't here. even see you anyway. How much is too much paint on a piece? You might be getting to that point. I don't know, but we're going to push the limits here. We're gonna push the limits. We're gonna. So here's the thing, guys. We're gonna get this paint on here, and then once it's completely dry, we're gonna come back through. We're gonna knock it down a little bit. We're gonna distress it. We're gonna add some white wax. It's gonna be fabulous, and you're gonna say, "I can't believe I ever doubted the process," <laughs> or you're gonna say, "Time to unsubscribe." But please don't do that because we love you. All right, experience. You'll miss the robot giveaway. The, the, the robot, robot vacuum. Yeah, you, can, you don't want to miss out. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, Brittany says we ruined it. What put that in the scene? No, too much. Okay. What is the average price we pay for a dresser? Okay, I'm going to start answering questions. So while Zeb's doing that, if you Here, have come questions. come sit like right there. Okay, if you guys have <laughs> questions about furniture, you can ask right now. All right, I'm right, I'm right here. Woo, that's close. I can't wear a lot of makeup, guys, so this is kind of scary. Um... We normally pay for this kind of dresser between forty and fifty dollars, and we sell them for about two hundred to three hundred. Okay, if you have questions, now's the time. Just Miss, just me, Sarah, eighteen says it's a work in process. I believe in you guys. And then Susie uh, Hilton says it's going to be fantastic. D Dina Harris wants to know how I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. I should feel one hundred percent normal. My, in fact, my eyes aren't dry. I can see. The only weird thing is seeing myself without eye makeup and concealer. That's a little, I was a little nervous about that, but you guys will still love me even if I don't have makeup on, right? <laughs> um, let's see. Think milk paint would work with cardboard if you mixed it on the thicker side? I actually think that you could probably do this with yeah. milk paint if you mixed it thicker. The paint has to be fairly thick for you to build up texture. I think in this situation, it could be less about technique and more about the colors. It's about the texture. It's about the texture. What am I decorating for fall? Amy Mitchell wants to know. And am I making something special? Um, all I've done for fall is bought pumpkins. <laughs> we were gone when we should have had our fall video up, so we're behind. So I think we're going to be doing muted neutrals. I picked orange pumpkins, but they're not especially bright. So I'm going to be doing like the sagey green... Muted orange and white, I think, is going to be my fall colors. 
Um, let's see, why paint with the drawers on? We paint with the drawers in so we can get a more fluid look. When we're all done, we pull them out and then we sand the edges so they don't stick. Yeah. Oh, you're making me something special. Thanks, Amy, I would love that. Does the paint smell ever give you a headache? You know what, that's why we use, watch your hat. <laughs> that's why we use the DIY paint. So the DIY paint is- um, Actually all the brands we carry. Yeah, yeah, all the brands we carry don't smell. The DIY is actually 100% natural, no VOC. It actually just smells like clay. It is so natural that it's considered just a craft paint, not like a wall type paint. So it's, you know, I can get it on my hands. I can paint inside the house. Um, I actually had somebody email me the other day and they said they were so grateful for ordering the paint from us because before when they would paint, they would have to paint outside because the smell really bothered their kids and it made them cough and like exacerbated their asthma. But since they've started using the DIY paint, she can paint inside and um, the her kids can be right there with her so she can watch them while she's painting. So that made me really happy. It's why we're really particular. We try to carry the most natural things we can um, and you know, just bring you the best products. So yeah, that's why there's no, no fumes. It smells like dirt, like yeah. clay. Yep, it smells like you're in pottery class. Oh, Lori's getting her hair cut. I'm getting my hair cut as soon as my sister-in-law gets here next week. I don't know if you guys remember um, Zeb's brother, Ty, and his sister-in-law, Mariah. They're going to be here, so I'm sure they're going to be in some videos. They'll be up here, not this weekend, next but weekend. the next weekend. Yep. And I'm going to get my hair cut. It's getting a little bushy. So she's my stylist. Um, you would love to be our neighbor, Candy Tucker says. I don't know. <laughs> sometimes we have we, really great sometimes neighbors. the junk comes out of the garage into the front yard like we try to keep it in check but it only does it that when bad. i'm cleaning it um i did buy some carts they're kind of fun so we'll share those with you later maybe saturday i don't know yeah i bought a fun laundry our, cart so i'll show you guys that on saturday can be part of our pick and finds who here who's getting uh ready to clean their garage out so that they can paint in the garage because it was 41 degrees when i took the kids to school this morning i think we're like a couple weeks away it's going to be freezing on us what kind of knobs are we going to use did it have knobs it had those little flat silver knobs oh yeah no they won't work we will be going to the hobby lobby probably maybe. something fun and bright maybe yeah. maybe even just a white to tone it back a little so we do have something fun coming up. I don't know if you guys saw our live on Saturday. The IOD sisters have come out with stamps that actually you can stamp and texture the top of cheap wooden knobs. And we will have that coming, I think in a couple months, we should have that on the website. So pretty soon we'll be making our own knobs, which is exciting. Um, it's gonna be 37 in Minnesota this Friday, just me, Sarah says. It was 41. Deb used the heater on the steering wheel this morning. It was the first time we bought the car in the summer and I'd never tried it out. It worked better than I wanted it to. Susan says that they, she thinks that they're cleaning out the garage to move the hot tub in there before snow. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, we got something fun happening. We are having delivered this week a garage heater. So it's, I guess it mounts on the ceiling. And so that's something else that we'll probably be talking to you about on Saturday Night's Live either this week or next week once we get it up and we'll share with you how we like it and where you can get one from so they don't jen lovequist nope they just don't sell it so don't just don't use it i don't know what that is <laughs> um sean says come back to tennessee we'll keep you warm to the end of november and also very <laughs> humid it was very very humid in tennessee love the people the moisture was a little excessive although my hands have never been softer Okay, N Nana Calm says, can you please give me any DIY ideas for clear woods from pallets? Clear woods, can you elaborate? Because I don't know what that means. To, to get the woods from, like to break it apart? Yeah. I have a whole video on breaking pallets apart. Yeah, we, ta we take pallets and we make signs out of them. We make frames out of them. Um, just anything you could do with wood, you can do with a pallet. The biggest thing is to rip them apart. That actually looks pretty good, Zen. Yeah, I'm leaving it. So this is starting to dry up front. You want to start pulling the paint off and building texture Yeah, let's over pull here. some paint off. Let's get some new pieces of cardboard. Although, watch out, you're going to be so right away. So Zeb's side is better than mine. That's what we've learned. I had a vision in mind, and then you came in with the white. All right, well, we're going to just let you finish your vision, because obviously you're better at this than me. No way. Yes, way. You've got lots of talent. Tapped into my inner kid. Your inner kid. 
Okay, so somebody asked if we sell at a store. We do sell at Molly's Forget Me Not in Lehigh, Utah. Um, and we also sell on Facebook Marketplace and on KSL Classifieds, which is like a local to Utah, um, kind of like a Craigslist, only it's like a thousand times better. So in fact, we're working with KSL Classifieds right now for that DIY Expo that's coming up in Utah. Caitlin posted that, but, um, or she can, if you have questions, just comment. She'll post about the DIY Expo in Utah. And you're going to start seeing me pull in pieces from KSL Classified, and then we're going to start flipping them. But then to see the final project, you actually have to come to the Expo if you want first dibs on seeing it. You put too much paint on, it's still too wet. Okay, we'll do the other side, and then we'll come back. The paint has to dry enough that you can pull it. Yeah. Oh, you guys get the top down view yeah, right here. Yeah, we also have a store space in Fallbrook, California. We don't sell our furniture there, but we have the DIY paint and the Sweet Pickens at Vintage Retail Therapy. Fallbrook is about 15 minutes from Oceanside and about 50 minutes from North San Diego County. Oh, about 20 minutes. Oh, is it 20 minutes from Oceanside? Yeah, it's not that close. Well, it's 15 minutes from the Home Depot. Yeah. Depends on where you're at. It's like uh, 10 minutes from Temecula. Yeah, this is an interesting demo. It is an interesting demo. Yeah. Thank you for being kind and saying interesting. <laughs> so <laughs> for shipping to Canada, the DIY paints you have to order from a Canadian retailer. If you need a link, you can just PM me and I can get you a link to Roxanne. She's the distributor, but we can ship Sweet Pickens Milk Paint, all of Zeb's Handmade, Fairy Chalk Mother, everything else we can ship to Canada. And we're actually working right now on a new international shipping company. A few people in Australia have had problems, so Caitlin is on it. Oh, Caitlin put the phone number on there if you're interested in signing up for that class at Vintage Retail Therapy um, that is going to be October 24th from 6 to 9. It's only open to 20 people. You can call the shop. Um, let's see, today is Wednesday, so the shop should be open. Um, if you call and they don't answer, maybe try a little later. I know California has different time zones. Let's see. Oh, Deb Sunshine says she loves Sweet Pickens Top Coat and she's on her kitchen table and it's wonderful. Yeah, we've used Sweet Pickens Top Coat on so much. We have it on our, co our coffee table in the basement. And the kids put all kinds of stuff on it, and it's held up really, really well. And I like it because it's all natural. It doesn't stink. You can use it in the house, non-toxic. So, <laughs> so this technique is really fun. If you're not loving these colors, pick your own colors out. It's, uh, you just want a little bit of contrast. When we did it, what colors did we use when we did it at boot camp? We did, I picked them. At boot camp, we used skeleton key, petticoat pink, and mint chip. See if you can find a picture of that on Instagram and show them. Oh, real um, quick. well, I can't show them. Oh, on you, this one. Yeah, find a picture of it. Oh, you guys, okay, I'll show you guys. Go what to we did your at. Instagram on my phone and show them the picture of okay. the piece we did at boot camp so that they kind of get a sense of how it'll end up looking. Okay, I, I'm, gonna, I'm picking up what you're throwing down. It takes me a minute. All right, so let me show you. So this, can you guys see this piece right here, this one? Take it you, real close. Oh, hold on, real close. This piece right here is the one we did this with on Instagram. And if you wanna see a better picture of it, go to Jamie Ray Vintage on Instagram and you can see it. And this is the rocking chair where we actually painted the velvet fabric. That was our lives we did last week. There you go. But that's that's kind of the, res the results you can get. It just depends on your color palette and what you pick out. Yeah. Don't touch it, it's not ready. I'm going up top, don't, yo. Don't do it. The top is definitely not ready. It was painted after. Can you hand me those two colors? Yeah, it's not ready. Step away. <laughs> We're going to have to wait. We won't be able to finish. I need we those colors. We can totally finish. What do you need? Colors. Colors. Got it. Thank Cowboy you. Cowboy Coral. Old 57. Do you Thanks. need the white? No, I don't need the white yet. I just put very little white on that other side, and it worked out It worked out great. It worked right, out guys? good. It worked out good? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, there's white on my toe. Okay, I got to go back to comments because I don't know what's happening. All right, let's see. Let's go back to live. Oops. Do, do, do. Oops, hold on. Wait, Seb, I can't. I need help. Why? 
I don't know. I'm having issues. It's because you maximized it. I don't know what I did. Electronics are not my like strong point. There you are. Okay. Okay, the one we already did, we used Petticoat Pink Skeleton Key. And was it Apothecary or Mint Chip? It was Apothecary. Apothecary. So Apothecary, Skeleton Key, and Petticoat Pink are the ones that we used when we were in Tennessee. And that color scheme is really, really pretty. And you can see the picture on Instagram of the finished product. And if you live in the Nashville area and you're interested in buying one of our pieces, that piece is at Farm Fresh Vintage Finds in Nashville along with our rocker. You can PM them on Facebook and Beth can get you pricing information and you could take that home. Like if you're anywhere close to Nashville, we've got those pieces there. Camera angle makes the top look really different. Overall, it's pretty cool. I actually think the top does look cool. We're going to probably blend that a little bit more, but. So what happens is as the clay paint starts to dry, we're gonna take the cardboard, it has to dry more, and you pull the paint up and you mush it back on and that's how you really build the texture with the cardboard because it's got clay. Think of like molding clay. You literally can like mush and mold the clay to get a really unique texture and finish. And when we sand it, when we're all done, we just barely lightly sand it just so that way we knock down a little bit of the sharp texture, but we're not taking all the texture off completely. Can you get me some white? Get me the white swan. What? Can you get me the, the white, white one? Yes. Um, Amy Mitchell says, how did, hold on. How did you make the cardboard so it didn't fall apart? Uh, it's just a piece of cardboard from a shipping box. So this one here got a little mushy, but it holds up pretty well. Yeah, you just have to have enough. Brittany says it's looking much better. I think I'm just going to let you do it because obviously you are the master. You had a design plan. I don't know that I, I, I may have See what I'm it. talking about not being able to do random? I put some color here, 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 I put some in the middle. It looks like a dice now. Looks like a dice. I'm totally random with everything. I have a hard time replicating things. I actually really love to paint sometimes when the camera's not rolling, but then people are like, how did you do that? I'm like, I don't know. And if you're afraid to try this technique on a large piece, the first piece we did was just like a little nightstand. So try it on something small, maybe, or try it on something big. Go big or go home, right? All right, we're running out of questions. I think we're almost done. We've been on for yeah. a long time. We've How been long? on for 40 something minutes. <laughs> we're just going. I like the way you're doing it. Well, it's important for them to kind of see the process because I think sometimes on our edited videos, it makes it a little difficult. Yeah, on the edited video, you would have never seen Jamie put way too much white on the front of this or on the top. Yeah. Pebby Comer says, guys usually have a plan. We design people have the randomness, no matchy matchy. That's her motto. Zeb does usually have a plan. So what you can do if you're doing this not on a painted piece is while the paint is still wet, you literally can take the cardboard and pull the paint off and distress with the cardboard, which is kind of fun. Yeah. All right. Somebody asked if we ever go to Denver and then somebody else asked if we ever come to Ohio. I don't know. A lot of people know this, but a lot of people might know this. We have five kids. <laughs> so we only probably make like four or five trips a year out of the state because we've got to take care of our kiddos. But we really do try to go as many places as we can. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys in close so you can kind of see. See, there's too much white on the top. Her fault. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right, we can fix it. I'll go and scrape some of that off with some cardboard right now. Maybe I'll show you guys that before we go. Deb says, will the finished coat just be wax? Yeah, we'll yeah. just use clear wax. We may white wax it, but I think we've got enough white on here now that we might not need to white wax it. All right, scooch, Jamie, like move your whole situation. Oh, the next DIY paint sale, somebody wanted to plan a trip to our shop. Um, we will be doing our next DIY paint sale will be somewhere around Black Friday. So we'll announce that. I don't know the exact date and time. We're not that close yet. But All we're right, so I feel like that. we still have too much white on here on the top. So I'm going to try to pull it off. What? There, there goes my wife. It's okay, Zeb's got this. 
Jennifer says country tour. <laughs> I don't know that we're that big for a country tour yet. You know, if our classes do really well and people start really enjoying them, we probably will try to make more time to go. We actually were pleasantly surprised. We had so many people come to, careful that you don't make brown. I'm trying not to make brown, that but you, I'm going to pull more of that back off. I just didn't want it to be. Um, we had so many people come to Nashville and see us. We actually spent the whole day talking and meeting people. Yep. People traveled as far as like Chicago to come see us in Nashville. And that was really fun. We loved meeting everybody. Um, chalk paint is actually easier to take off than latex paint where stripper and sanding is concerned because latex will gum up and is like plasticky, so it'll actually be easier with stripper and also easier with sanding. Hey, real quickly, you guys, we have a new customer care manager. Her name is Caitlin, come here and say hi. I just, just... I'm just gonna put it up a little so that way she can say hi. This is my niece, Caitlin. Hi. If you email us on our website, which our new email address is customercare at jamierayvintage.com, Caitlin's gonna be helping you out. She also writes my blogs, and you may be working with her. Everybody says hi. Um, if you PM us on January Vintage, she knows all that I know pretty much because she watches all Sometimes. of our videos and <laughs> writes our blogs. So we appreciate Caitlin. She is helping us out. So just wanted you to put a face to a name. If, if your paint goes missing in the mail, she's your girl. Yeah, but I don't ship it most of the time. <laughs> yeah, she's not the I one just shipping do the it. She's just the customer issues. care. Yeah. And also just, you know, caring for our customers. Yes. And customer caring and a little bit of customer care. So, new customer <laughs> care manager, Caitlin. <laughs> All right. All right. So I think we're gonna have to do another video on this tomorrow, finishing it up. You guys can kind of see some of the layers and texture and things going on. This has, once this dries, it'll have some ridges and things. We're not gonna sand them off all the way, but let's say I go back and sand this and buff it. Some of this white's gonna go away and we're gonna get some of that color that's up underneath. Some of this old 57 is going to show up underneath there and it won't look so muddied. And then when we white wax it, that's going to bring everything back in together and make it all look pretty uniform. People are saying they like it, that it looks better. They, they're loving the Zeb. I guess they're team Zeb. So if you're watching this now, are you team Zeb or team Jamie? Do you like more white or do you like the color situation that Zeb has going on? I actually think I'm team Zeb. Which normally I'm Team Jamie, but sometimes I come over to the Zeb side. So, if you want to see, well, that's a weird camera angle. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. If you want to see this video come full circle, how we finish it, make sure you're catching tomorrow's video. I'll have the edited version of this finished. We'll take this same piece so you guys can see it all done. And then that way you know all the steps to finish it, what we did to tie it together and you don't miss that also be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com to pick up your iod stamps because those are sell like hotcakes our new shirt and diy paint because hello <laughs> that's what we're using here um, we love you all and hope that you can tune in for our next live which is going to be saturday at 8 30 utah time and we will be giving away a robot vacuum so you don't want to miss that and make sure you hit that notifications button because we've got more edited videos coming this week bye guys see ya oh this is what your hand looks like when you're done